back student so we are on the 10th problem of vtus programming uh, c c laboratory for pe engineering semester 1 and 2 so the problem at 10 says design and develop a c function right shift with a value x comma n which takes a variable x and comma n that takes two integers so you should be very uh, two, uh, two integers x and n as input and returns a value of the integer x so it's an integer x rotated to the right by n positions okay it's an integer x rotated to the right by n position assume the integers are unsigned and write a C program that info invokes this function with different values of x and n and tabulate the results with suitable headings. Okay. So basically what uh, they are saying is take a value x and you right shift by n okay. uh, and display what it uh, gives. So let me come back uh, quick give introduction. So here what we are assuming is what is suggested is logical shift. So there is something called arithmetic shift and a logical shift. What C programming right shift is, is a logical shift. Okay. So let me give you a textbook ex uh, comment of what is logical shift. So a right shift operator of the C causes the bit pattern in the, in the shift expression to be shifted to the right by the number of position by the specified by the additive expression. Okay. For an unsigned number, bit position that have been vacated by the shift operation are filled with zero. Okay. That means if it is a right shift or left shift, it's a operation which shifts so many bits to the right and whatever the bit position that have been vacated, right, is been by the shift operation or zero field by the the C programming uh, uh, syntax. Okay, the shift automatically takes care that zeros are shifted. So let me give you a quick example. Consider there is a number a which is has a hexadecimal 803b. So uh, in binary it would be 100000011 000 and b is 1011. So if you if you right shift by two, if I right shift by two, the whole all bits would be right shifted. Okay, and here the there are two. Let me highlight. So these two are the LSBs are shifted out or just totally thrown out. Right, it's just discarded, and in the MSB because of the shift, the zeros are because of the shift operation, the zeros are zero filled. So it's been filled by zeros. So you can see here that upper two are filled with zeros and these two are just close off. So the syntax of variable is the variable and so many live shifted places. Okay. So they are saying design and develop a right shift function which takes two integers and uh, which is a, this is a function which does a right shift. It takes x, n, and it returns a shifted value. Okay. So let me quickly go to the program. This is a simple program. So as we are. So basically they are asking us to use a right shift function, write a right shift function which takes an unsigned integer x and an unsigned integer n and which returns an unsigned integer which is a shifted uh, output. Okay. So this is a declaration. So because our function is down, you need, we need to define, declare it at the top or else it will give a compiler error saying the declaration not found because whenever it is using here it doesn't know what to do with it okay so this is a mean where in which uh, unsigned int x is the input how many shift 
this is going to be the is defined as n and uh, uh, actually I, I should make it I can make it n sign in this and the resultant is saved in rest. So the the what we need to do is first get the input from the user enter an enter an unsigned integer value less than 65 535 because we are using an int. So we take that here right shift how many times so basically we are uh, say how many times we want this to be right shift right shift. that value is got in n and we are just calling the mealy calling right shift function with an x comma n and output is saved in res we are printing that here so the right shift of whatever value is is here right so our right shift function you could just use the library C function which which says x right shifted by n. So which does the same thing. So here if you say x is an integer, if you shift by 2, it will automatically shift that and it will return it. Either you could, you can, we can also have an, a other option is a define and so let's first uh, go through this and then I'll tell you uh, if you are college wants a, a for loop to be done both are same here you, you can have a for loop of 0 to n and we can do a x right shifted by 1 that is also same but this is a much better optimized code okay so here I compile I run enter an unsigned integer uh, say I give 1000 the right shift 1000 by how many times basically you should know that any time when you right shift a number is as good as divided okay. okay so if I give as 1 it will give a right shift as 500 okay so it right shifted by 1 so if I want the same I want to run again say 1024 if I right shift by 2 times okay so it's going to first right shift by 2 means it is divided by 2 which is uh, 512 again right shift is 256 so it is working good ok so in case in case there are two other options of doing this I will just comment this out another option is which is not an optimized option I have a for loop so for i is equal to 0 i less than n okay i plus plus okay here iteratively what we could do is x is equal to x right shifted by 1 so every time manually we we can right shift and it's going to give a same uh, results let me compile okay X. Compile, no error. So I'll make it 1000, right shift by 1, it gives me 5000, 500. Again, run 1024, right shift by 2, it gives me 2. So this is like for loop of so many times, is a not optimized uh, code. What I would write is a much simpler is the return just we could do that and I can do hash f0 so I can delete so it's up to you if you want to use this or use the for loop uh, whatever uh, is convenient to you you can use it okay the logical shift there are some people have seen or uh, this thing trying to implement a arithmetic shift arithmetic shift is whatever if if you are getting one here one one don't insert zeros but insert whatever the lsb into the msb but here they have not asked anything to be arithmetic uh, shift if that is the case you could do it but uh, i 
think the logical shift is straightforward because they have not said.